happy that it doesn't uh, pose any threat to uh, man or beast and they're about to line up for this uh, totesport.com challenges novices chase that's better known as the silly isles novices chase always been uh, won by a good horse won by paul nichols trained runners for the last two years new little brick and uh, napolitane so silverburn bidding to complete the hat trick here and he's in front going towards the first silverburn in the light blue jacket from we robbie the market man little nod from the gray keep the dream alive and present oriented is the back marker the outsider as they jump the second the market man just a bit novicey there this is his first run over fences and first run for some time and so they've cleared the three railway fences a chance to settle down over the next uh, furlong and a half or so as they make their way to the pond fence and silverburn and sam thomas looking for a big double here trainer Paul Nichols after the Tother Ones win in that uh, handicap hurdle. We Robbie in second in the yellow jacket. Andrew Thornton, the market man. His last appearance on a race course was when he shook up that smart staying hurdler, mighty man. Very good performance. There's a five to two chance. Silver burner shade of odds on. Keep the dream alive is fourth and present oriented as they cleared the pond fence and silver burn jumped it beautifully, the leader there. So turning into the straight for the first time, Silverburn. It didn't appear to stay the three miles at Kempton last time. Nevertheless, over this two and a half miles, setting a, uh, quite a brisk pace as they head now to an open ditch. Silverburn from Wee Robbie and the Market Man. Keep the dream alive and present oriented. So just uh, brushes through the top of the fence. And now about to pass us, betting coming through for the next race at Lingfield and the next leg of this afternoon's tote scoop six. We'll be heading down to Lingfield, the all-weather, soon after this race. Silverburn from Wee Robbie, then the market man, Amit Fitzgerald in third. A gap to keep the dream alive and finally present oriented. So about to turn right-handed now. Silverburn, Denman's brother. Just a little bit awkward round the turn. Was he just having a think about it, I wonder? He just uh, wasn't really helping Sam Thomas there. He's hanging a little bit out. From Wee Robbie in second place, the market man. Keep the dream alive and present oriented. The downhill fence. Silverburn. Over safely. And gets another reminder and that clearly Sam just feels that his mind isn't quite on the job at the moment. Just seemed to, seemed to start losing concentration, just passing that exit back towards the stables. And he's having a look again there. He half looked at Veer going into that fence. And suddenly Silverburn not looking too straightforward. Going towards the next, Silverburn jumps this well from the market man, a bold leap into second. Then we, Robbie, a gap to keep the dream alive as they now jump the next. Silverburn again jumps it well. Three lengths to the market man and we, Robbie. And both keep the dream alive and present oriented. Look as though they're playing for minor money as they now race to the water jump. Has made it all so far the favourite here, Silverburn. Just needed a little correction from the man on top, running down the hill. We Robbie in the yellow jacket, the market man, right on terms. After this uh, long absence, as they jump the first of the three railway fences onto the middle one, Silverburn jumping very well now. We Robbie and the market man, second and third, the last in the back straight. Silverburn again beautifully to the other side. We Robbie lands second, the market man in third, and then a big gap to keep the dream alive and present oriented. So now on the run towards the pond fence. Three fences left to jump here, and Silverburn has led all the way so far, but has so far been able, to, unable to shake off either We Robbie or uh, the Market Man, who are both within a couple of lengths off the leader and within challenging range as they race down to the pond fence through the deepest part of the racecourse. Silverburn 
from the market man in the pink cap and on the left we robbie over three out another good jump by the leader that will help his cause here the market man is shaken up on landing in second place and sam thomas asks for more from silverburn and he kicks ahead now and that was quite impressive running towards the second last silverburn from the market man silverburn by two and a half three lengths to the market man then we robbie back in third Racing for the final fence, Silverburn maintaining the gallop, still three or four lengths ahead of the market man, jumping the last. His jumping has been superb, has Silverburn all the way round. He, he tends to look about him a little bit, but uh, he's being kept on the straight and narrow by Sam Thomas here to complete a double for champion trainer Paul Nichols and Silverburn makes all from the market man. A nice comeback and a, a good chasing debut too in second. We Robbie third, keep the dream alive in fourth and finally present oriented so it's gone in the end to the odds on favorite silver bird in clear-cut fashion here makes all the running jump particularly well on the way round for uh, trainer paul nichols there just a slightly anxious moment as he uh, passed the exit back to the stables and was just wandering about and needed one or two reminders from sam thomas just to keep his mind on the job but in the end he applied himself well